I went to the Dayton Hamvention today and I figured why not do a YouTube video on this I found this little gem it's a model 224 frequency meter by Eldorado Electrodata never heard of it but anyway um, missing the power cord and missing the input so someone's been in here before so I took the screws out and this is what I found there's the call sign of I guess whoever owned it or took it apart I'm not sure anyway um, as you can see it has Nixie tubes and that's one of the reasons why I got it because it was interesting I'm not really much a ham guy so I probably don't have a practical use for this but hey you know what the heck so someone took the cord and the input data off of it but I quickly found out that the fuse appears to be blown which may indicate trouble in the circuitry power circuitry somewhere maybe these electrolytics are shorted or maybe a bad diode or something like that but I'll worry about that later um, what I found interesting was the chips that they used if you can see there's 1969 date codes which puts this thing back in the 60s early 70s so really it was ahead of its time back then there's a 1 megahertz crystal oscillator to keep an accurate clock for the reset pulse and here's all your counter circuits for storing the frequency there's the latch chips and the Nixie driver ICs they're all matched pairs according to Fairchild information I found um, then you have the early logic before the Texas Instruments 74 series before all of that stuff um, I cannot find any data on the internet for this model so I don't know of a schematic or anything to be able to fix it I'm not even sure what's supposed to go there you got your one second ten second gate time your on and off switch hey little piece of history in my opinion because who thought of integrated circuits back in 69? Granted, yeah, 70s was big for the integrated circuits. But this is really early for its time. Hey, if you, anybody have any information on this thing, please leave me a comment or send me a video of maybe where they have one or just send me an email.